I said it one more time. Without God, I could do nothing. Without God, I would fail. Without God, my life would be drifting like a ship without a just close your eyes for a moment and just, just think about where you would be without her. Just think about, hmm, hmm. That's all I got to say, hmm. And sometimes it gets so good when you think about God, you say, you have to moan about that thing. Hmm, 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 Got a moan about it sometimes. Wow. Man, think about the things that you thought you wasn't gonna be able to get through. Mr. Irma, I thought I thought, Mr. I thought you wasn't gonna be able to get through that day with, when I did the home going for your mom. I, I I ain't think you were gonna be able to, I ain't think I was gonna see you on, on in 2020. That, that, it took so much out of you that day, but because of God, you can do everything. Because of God, there's nothing you can do. Because of God, you're not just a ship going about without a sail. Better lyrics. Amen. So like my mama now. Not a lyric. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I, just, I just freelanced. Yes, you did. You sure did. Yes. Yes. I got a word for you tonight. Living to lead. Uh huh. Living to lead. Uh huh. Yeah. Living to lead. Yeah. Yeah. Living to lead. Evangelist Thomas this morning. She said, "Yeah." Remember, she said that it just pricked my spirit. She said, we don't even realize we live in here to lead him. I said, my God, I got to preach that tonight. Living to lead. If you have your Bibles, you can turn your Bibles to the book of, book of John chapter 17. I'm going to read to the Lord tell me to stop, so don't, don't ask me where I'm going, but I, I'll be there when I get there. John 17, John 17. Yes, yes, yes. I just want to thank God for, you know, um, Pastor Wilson, you, you are an asset to the church, man. You are truly, we are truly glad that you are a member of this ministry. Mm -hmm. and I ain't hear enough amens. Amen. That's right. That, man, that, man, I don't know what you, messing up them songs. I, don't, I don't know what you, I don't know what you put in that, in that, in that, in that, in that thing yesterday, but boy, you put it in there. That's all I got to tell you, boy. You sure did. You got a mole at home? The sequel was that. You ain't got none at home? I did, yeah. I mean, you did shrimp, you ain't ran your business now? Okay, anyway. Be, huh? You, you did shrimp? Now God take care of him because he brought me no shrimp. Now God take care of him because he brought me no shrimp. <laughs> we love you, man. We love you. If you're there, say amen. If you're there, say amen. 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 John 17. John 17. Verses 1 through, I'll stop when the Holy Spirit stops me. After saying all these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so he can give glory back to you. For you have given him authority over everyone. He gives a, eternal life to each one you have given him. And this is the way to eternal life, to know you, the one, the only true God, Jesus Christ. And this is the way to eternal life, to know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ, the one you sent to the earth. I brought glory to, your, to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. I have revealed to you the ones you gave me from this world. They were always yours. You gave them to me and they have kept your word. 
Now they know that everything I have is a gift from you. For I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you. And they believe you sent me. My prayer is not for the world, but for those you have given me, because they don't belong, they, they belong to you. And all who are mine belong to you, and you have given them to me, so they bring me glory. Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in the world, but I am coming to you. Holy Father, you have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name so that they will be united just as we are. During my time here, I protected them by the power of, your, of the name you gave me. I guarded them so that not one was lost except the one headed for destruction, as the scripture foretold. Now I am coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in this world, so they would be filled with my joy. I have given them your word, and the world hates them because they do not belong to the world. Just as I do not belong to the world, I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Teach them your word. Living to leave. Living to leave. So, so as, I, as, I'm, as I'm reading this, I'm, I'm sitting here and understanding the, the beauty of, 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 of living. And, and, and the beauty of living is that I am able to be taught by the one who created me or not. As I, as I am standing here, I'm standing here today, a, a, a wretched vessel, a wounded vessel, a sinful vessel, but, but all of that is, is what you can say about me, but you cannot tell me that I am not in the process of being made right by God for God. And I come to tell you, if God can make one like me right for him, he is no respect for person, Mother Rose. God said, I, and God before me, why am I worried about you not liking me? If God be for me, why am, not, why am I worried about you not serving me? Because I am not one to be served. I am serving you up to God. Do you don't even realize what Jesus did? When Jesus died on the cross, he literally served us up to the world. In other words, we are living to leave here. He says, I want you to know what suffering is because there is no suffering where, we, where, where I'm going. There is no suffering where I'm going. And what I need you to understand right now in the midst of where you are, there is really no suffering where you are. See, I see suffering as suffering when I don't understand what's going on. As we learned in our class today, Jesus said, I will teach you in the place that I learned. And we found out the Bible tells us Jesus learned in his place of what? Suffering. So he said, I will teach you in the place. But what we do is, we want to do anything but suffer. Amen. Suffering don't make me look good. Matter of fact, suffer, when I suffer, most times I look stupid. Because most times, when you really, really suffer, it looked like something you, 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 you didn't have to do it. You didn't want to do it. Can anybody say amen? Amen. Uh, you, you, anybody ever been with somebody they didn't want to be with? Amen. And they stay with them? Amen. And, 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 and ain't nothing but a form of suffering? Amen. Because they're learning that, you know what, why, why is suffering so prevalent in the kingdom of God? Who introduced suffering to the equation? We did. Mankind did. Adam and, Adam, Adam and Jesus had it going on. Yeah, I said Jesus because no man has seen the face of God. So if Adam saw uh, if Adam saw saw God in the form of man, he had to be he had to be who? Jesus. So they were kicking it. They were they were good. But then Jesus said, "It ain't good for you to be alone. I you you can't kick it with me because I got somebody. I got the daddy who you who you don't know yet." Which is me, but you don't know that I am he and, and he is I, not yet, because it's not, it's not time for that dispensation to be understood. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you somebody you can kick it with. And he gave me Eve. And you got to understand why Eve, Eve had, to be, had to be who she was. Because if Eve had been all that Adam wanted her to be, then Adam would never have, would have had a desire to meet God. I got it all. See, I got, I got elect Lady Helen. I promise you. Outside of God, there's nothing else I want. So anybody trying to kick with Bishop, you waste the kick. You waste the kick. Because I got it all. And uh, when I tell you before, before, before it comes, I got it all. Y'all can have your OxyClean, y'all can have your Tide, y'all just give me my all. Oh, come on, somebody. So, so all I'm trying to tell you right now is that, is that, is, you like that, you like that, you have your OxyClean, you have your Tide, y'all can give me my all. But anyway, it, it, it goes on and says, for you have given, he said, he said, he said, y'all want to hear this? And it's the same, living the lead. All your life. You being prepared for that hour. My hour has come. 33 years. Three years of ministry for one hour. Are you going to be ready to leave? Did you live in a manner where leaving ain't going to be a problem? Did you live in a manner that, that when God when God said, Dring, dring, dring. This is your father. I want Kobe Bryant right now. I want everybody on the plane right now. Go get him, Jesus. Go get him, Jesus. And the phone rung to Jesus. When Jesus, don't y'all figure, y'all ain't figured it out by now? When God calls Jesus to do something, he going to do it. If Jesus would give up his life for us to live, he only got the right to come back up. Come Through doing that, he got the right to come get us so we can live with God forever because Jesus gave up his life on this side for us to live with God forever on the other right. side. Dring, dring, dring. Here comes Jesus. Who is Jesus? He's the life angel. He killed the... Oh, now, nah, now, nah, come on, now. Nah. Before Jesus came, everybody was scared of death. They put the blood on the pole because the death angel was coming. Yeah. But Jesus took the sting out of death, and he became the angel of angels. And, and, and so, when, so when someone leaves here, it's not the death angel that comes to get them. It's the life angel, and the one that has the authority to come get the light to bring to the other side is the one who gave up his life oh, on this side. Hallelujah. I am living in... To leave here. All oh, them hugs and kisses. One day, God's going to say, Dring, 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 dring. He about to cry. He cried already. Look at it. He cried. Uh. Oh, Jesus. He cried already. Just the thought of it. Baby, she ain't yours. She belong to your dad. <laughs>
eternal life to each one you have given him. This is so prevalent. Because we know he's talking about Jesus. This time, y'all gonna hear the word of God. Y'all gonna hear the word of God. You, we know he's talking about Jesus that time. We know he's talking about Jesus in time. But what I'm telling you, what he's saying to Jesus, there is going to come a time he's going to say it to you. Amen. I have given you authority. I have given you authority over every creepy, crawly thing. And I looked right in your, right at you, <laughs> right at you. I, I come up on you because I, I have the authority to come up on you. Amen. And so as we hear this, we, 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 we understand that, that now, am I ready to leave? I even know you always talk about y'all and you say, but I know even when it comes, um, uh, there's going to be a thought that I don't want to leave, 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 I don't want to go nowhere. And man, they're going to be out of gas. Because God going to say, you know what? You can't see my face and see their face again. Are you ready to see my face? But you can't see their face no more. And so God will mess around and show you his face. And when you see the beauty of the life that you wasted, that he made good even in your wasted places. Come on, Holy Ghost. When you, see, when you see his face, you will see the beauty of the life that you wasted, that he made good even in your wasted places. Because he's God. In other words, how I know he made life good even in your wasted places? It was not a big enough waste for you to kill yourself because of God. As bad as I was and as stupid as I may have looked, as embarrassed as I may have been, as guilty as I may have been, God made my wasted places look good because I didn't kill myself. But imagine if I had left me in the hands of some of these folk and say, do what you want with me. Boy, y'all oh, they, 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 be right here with a lens model. Do what you did to my bishop. But y'all got to understand something. Your bishop understand the process that he's living to leave. And, and, and it gets to the point when you when you hear that God says, that hour. He just kept talking about that hour, that hour, that hour, that hour, that hour, that hour, that hour. It's coming. It's coming. Notice what he says here. He says, Father, bring me into the glory we share before the world began. Even God said, I love y'all. I created you to love, to be loved, and for me to be loved. And when there is love, there is no suffering. I love my wife. I make her mad. But when I see her get mad, I, if I'm a good husband, I see what makes her mad, and I try to learn how not to make her mad. Now, if I'm a manipulating husband, I will see what makes her mad, and then purposely make her mad, and that was my strategy of getting out of the house once upon a time. Start an argument, so I, I don't want to hear this. I'm out of here. Why you drop your head? You look like you did that before. You drop your head. <laughs> That way you keep her sitting on the front row. <laughs> you want to hit off. But I have revealed to you the ones you gave me from this world. They were always yours. My children belong to God. The sheep that God gave me to shepherd over belong to him. My enemies belong to God. They're all his. And you're sitting, you've been sitting here to live with him. The audacity of you talking about, I can't stand this person. Baby, when one, when you can't stand one, it's a hundred can't stand you. Believe that. When you can't stand one, 
This is how they came saying you. Now they know everything I have as a gift from you. Watch this. For I have passed them on. I have passed on to them the message you gave me. What's the message? Make me mad. So I can show you that I only have one emotion. Upset me so I can show you I only have one emotion. And, and that's why God could not destroy Adam and Eve, because he is love. He ain't trying to be love. He, he don't choose love. He is love. And I am, I am, I am, I am, oh my God, this is so good. Now I am intimate. And the only intimacy that matters to me is to be intimate with my creator. Man. Y'all know how that go. I should write a song. Always make it love. If God let you always make love, guess what? According to your understanding, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to leave here. But when you when you learn the love of God and you can and you can intimate with God and, and, and you see the joy and the peace and the and, and, and the, uh, the, uh, the unceasing the, the uninterrupted uh, relationship that I have with something that I can't see but I know is there with something that keeps me even when I can't keep myself when when, 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 my, when my mind is about to go crazy but but something said I, 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 I even though you're on the edge I'm gonna keep you right where you at even though you don't understand I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that you can bear it even though you can't take it. I'll take it for you. Mankind couldn't take it no more. Mankind couldn't take those people living off of them. And that's what had happened. And we back to that. The religious people living off the people. The religious people the Pharisees and the Sadducees leaders were living off the people and we back to pastors living off Hallelujah. living off the people. Uh -huh. And that's what Jesus came to stop. We didn't turn the hands of the clock back. We got all these businesses we call churches now. <laughs> There's a pastor in Orlando who passed away. The man made 33000 $175 a month. $33,000. $175 a month. And say he loved the people. Am, 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 I, am I condemning him? If I was in a position for y'all to pay me $33,000, $175 a month, I wouldn't take it. That's too much money, man. Too much money. Too much money. That's too much money when you got people, there's somebody in your church home. That's too much money when there's somebody in your church who, 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 who light bill, they struggling to pay their light bill, they struggling, they struggle. It's too much money to get one person but we back to what the Pharisees and the Sadducees were doing. They were living to live off the people. They were not living to leave. But God said, I'm going to make you put. And <laughs> that, that girl that you put behind me, always somebody else. You better put, all right, when you look like a donkey, don't put that, don't put her on the, put, you better let Jesus ride. Always put somebody else on the donkey. <laughs> Jesus rode the donkey. When, 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 you, when you get caught, when you get caught and you look like a donkey, you just say, you know what, Jesus, come save me, because Bishop didn't talk about me. Yes, he is. Yeah, you better tell him. But you got to understand, to live, you got to understand that you are not here to stay forever. I got a cousin, I told y'all, I heard me talk about him. He said he wanted to live, he's 200 years old. I said, who in the world want to live 200? I said, man, no, you ain't going to know nobody. The little young girl that ain't going to have nothing to do with your old mind. Why do you want to be here at 200? 
Oh, huh, huh, huh. He, he opened up his own, 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 own vegan restaurant. Way 20, and had it 25 years now. He was, he don't eat no red meat, no nothing. He, he be having meatballs, talking about eating meatballs. I said, man, you better get some germs in your body. I tell him, I said, you better get some germs in And so, so he, he all, he's all that. We ain't even talking about his health, his health situation today. I think that's why he was saying to talk to the pastor. Because I told him, there's only one that got the TikTok when it comes to your TikTok, and that's God. Amen. There's only one that got the answer to your TikTok. Yep. And so stop worrying about it and, and, and accept the fact that I am watching, I'm watching because I'm learning what it takes to live where I'm going. I'm watching Bishop because he shows that no matter what, circumstances do not take him out of his heavenly place. This flesh going to do what it do. Don't y'all know that by now? Yes, yes, yes. And if your flesh ain't having some days in your life, you ain't going to lie to yourself. Come on now. Only difference between me and you ain't a shame of mine. I use mine for the purpose of God. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you check that out? Amen. And what I'm trying to tell you is I am sitting here, I'm standing here, letting you know that you'll be prepared to leave here. And even if you look like this, you can stay with God. Even if you look like that, God still wants you. Even if you don't look like you, them, them folk in that church tell you, girl, you're going to hell because you, because you did this and you did that. Next time, one of them people tell you that, ask them, what the hell did you do? Because in order for me to go to hell, you must be already there because I ain't seen no hell. All I'm seeing is heaven because I serve a God that says, all good things come from above. It says, and those that look below, they live below. And those that look down, they live down. And I come to tell you, Right now, since you won't look up for yourself, I'm going to look up for both of us. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Since you won't look up for yourself, because you got to be looking down, talking about me the way you're talking about me. Since you won't look up for yourself. Hallelujah. I'm going to look up for both of us. Thank you you got to Thank understand. You. You, are you, are, you, are, you, are, you are living to lead. What did I learn about heaven? Once you get to heaven, you don't want to go by yourself. Once you get to heaven, you don't want to spend a day in heaven without the ones that you love on this side. So when God called, when God called you home, I ain't got to worry about Pastor Wilson. Pastor Wilson had grabbed enough love from Bishop to, to pass love on, and so now I made sure I dragged him along with me. Y'all got this? When you start preparing to leave, you want to show everybody that you already know where you are. If you still wondering, wondering about heaven, that means you also wondering about hell. If you don't know hell, if you know heaven, you don't know hell. But if you don't know heaven, it's because you you caught in between. Because you have not been living to leave. You've been living trying to stay. Trying to stay in a place that God only sent you to to show you how good he is to you. Y'all better hear the word of God. He only sent you to this place. So when you get to heaven, you won't get bored. Boy, after living out here, when you see what heaven's like, Mother Daddy done gave me, she done gave me the full one one. You know she can't hold nothing. God told her, don't you go back down there and tell nobody. She said, I got to tell my bishop. Bishop? I said, what, Mother? Say said, it's just like you said, but better. It's real, saints. And the reason I know it's real, because the, the depths in which you go, is the reflection of what you see in the heavenly realm. But you can't go to the depth complaining because when God trying to show it to you, you're too busy whining, complaining, and trying to figure out how to get out of the depth instead of seeing what God is showing you in the heights. 
Hear the word of God tonight. You belong to the Father. God is your author. He's your finisher. He's your director. He's your producer. He's your everything. Listen, saints. I'm going to leave you with this. And I don't want you to miss this. Because God's word, say God's word cannot come back void. Amen. I want to leave you with this. And Jesus put a prayer on Satan through the Father that we cannot deny. He says here, he says, I have given them, you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't miss this part. He says, he says, now I am departing from the world. I am what? He's departing. He came into the world to leave. He did not come to stay. He said, I'm departing from the world, but I am coming to you. And as I am, as the Father is with Jesus, he's with me. And he says, now protect them by the power of your name, so that they will be united just as we are united. And God named us in his image. And God, God is love, and love is God, so we are named after God, so our name is love. He said, during my time here, I protected him by the power of the name you gave me. You gave me the name of love. Am I worthy of that name? Are you worthy of that name? Those who are not, those who are on, on, on Facebook, I wish you had been in the class and you would understand what, why, why they're feeling this right now. Because we, we talked about how God said, how, how the law says is that a, a man has no excuse to put his hands on a, on a woman. But as we, as we learned in the study, a man has no excuse for doing what else? Put his hand on who? Another man. Another man. Why? Because their name is love. They're named after God. And I don't want God having a... You see, this is what God says. If you don't love, I got to come take the hate out of you personally. Do you want to deal with God on those terms? Do you want to deal with God on the terms of, 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 of him not teaching you through me, but having to come and take the hate out of you personally? You know, we talk about God's wrath. And the way God takes hate out of us is, is, is he, 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 the, what we want to love us, won't love us. Mm. And, and that's the only way we can understand what hate feels like. I don't want to find love to someone who, who I want to love me hating me. That's what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What they want to love them won't love them, and what they, what they won't love is going to love them, but they ain't going to love it. Ain't that a twisted place to be? That's how God works. Oh, my God. I remember when I was a jit. I was about seventh or eighth grade. It was a little girl that lived, in, that lived in, the, in the neighborhood. She just loved me. She was just as ugly as she wanted to be. That girl knows she loved me. Anything I told her, she didn't do it. I would talk to her when the fellow was around. But then there was another girl I wanted. She would give me the time of day. She would not give me the time. I said, Lord, hey, God, why won't you take the love out of her and put the hate in her and put the love in the one I want? Because, you know, I've got to teach you the value of how you making her feel, the one that loves you, that you're using. All y'all manipulators. Because you're trying to stay here. You're not, live, you're not living to leave. You're not letting God prepare you for that hour. You're going to be so scared. You're going to say, Lord, it's dark. And it's going to be just as light. But the only reason you ain't going to see the light is because all that's in you is darkness. All that's in you is hate. Because you did not let God prepare you to see what you got to go through. When you leave here, Brother Barry told us plainly, he says, a darkness like you've never seen. And if, and if darkness is in you, you're going to become a part of the darkness. And you won't be able to see the light. And the reason you won't be able to see the light is because the darkness is going to lead you to the judgment seat. And God said, I'm going to send you into the illuminated hell, the burning light, for a day for you to see. Do you, do we, why don't, we don't have to go through that. You don't have to go through that. 
Open your eyes right now. No, open your spiritual eyes. Everything your eyes tell you to do, do the opposite when you're angry. When you are angry, whatever your eyes tell you to do, do the opposite. Because your eyes, the, what, the eyes, the eyes were taught by the world. And the spirit was taught by God. Whatever your eyes tell you to do when you're angry, do the opposite. Then God will say, now you're showing me you're living to leave. Because the opposite of this world is heaven. You better hear the word of God. The opposite of this world is heaven. And if I'm doing the opposite, that means I'm already living in the opposite of this world. When I'm angry, the world says you know what to do. You know what to say. You know what, how to act. But the opposite of this world is heaven. And when I'm angry, if I do the opposite of what I want to do, I'm already where, Brother Joe? Pearl the gates. Pearl the gates. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Got that right. Digging the next job gonna put you in there, whether you want to be or not. But watch what it says as we leave. It says, during my time here, I protect them by the power of the name you gave me, which is love. I guarded them so that no one was lost, not one, except the one headed for destruction. Those that just choose not to know God. But what I'm trying, where I want to get you to is, when it gets down here, and it says, now I am coming to you, and I told you many things while I was with you in this world, so that you will be filled with my joy, never without God. I have given you them, I have given them the word. The word is love. We already know that. I, I, we didn't we graduate past that. The world hates them because they do not belong to this world, just as I do not belong to the world. I'm not asking you to take them out. Everybody want credit for your deliverance. That's already been taken up by Jesus. Oh, I cast that out of her. I cast that out of him. Leave them alone. They were, God put them to go through that, not for you to fool them like they, they ain't got to go through it. Leave them alone. You ain't casting nothing out, baby. You need to cast the lies out your spirit talking about you to cast something out of somebody that God put in them. You need to cast the lies out yourself. Leave them alone. This is what Jesus said. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them safe from the evil one as they as they live to learn to live to lead. Let them not. Do what Satan wants you to do. Satan wants you to. Y'all want to know blasphemy? Y'all want to know how you can't leave this earth? Y'all want to know how your spirit remains in forever? Y'all want to know how you become a child of God? Kill yourself. He wants you to kill yourself. He wants you to commit suicide. Because guess what? You can't go to heaven. Why? Because if you kill yourself, you'll kill anybody else. Kill yourself. You want to stay here forever? Kill yourself. You want to stay? You like this earth that much. You like you like down here that much. Kill yourself. And then you're going to be tortured with seeing your, your loved ones that can't be with them. You're going to be tortured with wanting to speak to them and you can't talk to them. But those who go to glory, you can come talk to the ones down here that know God anytime you get ready. Those that go to glory, I talk to my sister every day. I talk to my daughter now that God took me up there and met her. I talk to her every day. It's real, saints. It's real. It's real. Which is too big to try to figure out how can I extend this life on this side when the life that you really want is the one that he's going to come back and get you to take you to. You are living to leave. But we're so twisted by religion. I'm trying to stay here as long as I can because I don't know why, you, know why you're trying to stay here. Because you don't know where you're going. 
because you have not been living to leave. So you're worried about dying. This should wake somebody up tonight. This should wake somebody up. This should wake somebody up. It ain't about your circumstances. This flesh gonna always make you look like what you don't want to look like. But your spirit says, that's what defines you. You make me look bad, but I love in this bad place. You make, you make me look less, but I love in this less. And what really says you know God is not when you, when you can love people through your blessing. But when you can love when you feel like they have cursed you. Because when you can love when they feel like, when you feel like there's a curse on you, you, you tell them the curse you ain't real. You tell them the curse you are not real. Give God a hand praise. Give God a hand praise. Pray that y'all got this tonight. This is so right now, so needed. Jesus said, don't take them out. But keep the evil one away from them. Keep hate out that spirit while they're there. Because hate will make you do something to yourself. You done hated somebody. Then they kill you. You know you committed suicide. Why? If you had not hated them, then you would not have died in the hate. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Put that sword down, man. God have it. God, God, that's God's child. God have it. that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Friends, don't treat me like they used to. Since I laid my burdens down. Friends, don't treat me like they used to. Since I laid my burdens down. Burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I laid my burdens down. Burdens down. We have no burdens, Lord, because we understand we are just living to leave. Yeah. And as we get ready to leave, Lord, we are we are going to say thank you. We're going to say hallelujah. We're going to say, we're not going to say, Lord, can you pass this cup? Because Jesus showed us you just waste a, you waste the asking in that hour. When that hour comes, He's going to look at you. He's going to say, the one I let die so you could yet live is coming back to get you. To live with him forevermore. Yeah. I Amen. thank you, Lord. Amen. I thank you right now for our life, angels. I thank Amen. you for Jesus taking what I call suffering. Amen. God said, You want to know suffering? I hate it when I, y'all know what I'm finna say. <laughs> I hate it when y'all tell me y'all done have a bad day. You want to know what a bad day look like? Do you want to know what a bad day look like? Right, a bad now. day look like when you've been falsely accused, okay? A bad day look like when you, somebody you've been feeding them and feeding and teaching and, and feeding and teaching and they, and they turn you into the popo. A bad day looks like they come up and they, they, they give you a kiss. They give you a kiss. They give you a kiss to show them. Y'all know what that means? Do y'all know what he was doing? What your haters do? He walked up with the kids acting like he loved Jesus. My God, my A whole lot of them walk around him acting like they love you. My God. Yeah, you better recognize a fake kiss when you see one. See that? And one day he's going to say, Bishop, I wish I would have let you kiss me. I should have let you kiss me, Bishop. Bishop, you should have let me kiss you. Come and tell you something, brother. Ain't but one kiss gonna be real, two kids gonna be real than mine. Hers and God's, I promise you. Come here, my son. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. 
Yeah, and then he talking about he got a bad yeah. back. Yeah, I ain't seen no bad back. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the understanding. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the purity. Yeah. We thank you for the genuineness. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, because we can laugh. We can we can have joy. And, and you know, Lord, it's so wonderful not to have to be not have to preach around folk in church. It's so wonderful not to have to teach around folk in church. It's so wonderful, Lord, just to have the freedom to just say what you gotta say, which I say anyway. But the bottom line is, Lord, they're not distracting the people. So they talking about he just talking about me. My God. You ain't that important. Come on now. I'm trying to help people understand that they gonna leave him one day. Oh, yes. And I'm trying to get oh, yes. us ready. Oh, yes. All y'all individuals and eyes, you stay there thinking you just that important. My God. You ain't that important. I promise you, you ain't. Oh, my God. Back up off yourself oh, my God. and know that we are one body in Christ. We were saved by one body, and that's Jesus Christ. We were saved for one God. We were saved to live in one spirit, and that's the spirit of love. And when I live in the spirit of love, I walk in the absolute power that God had given to those that know him, love him, and accept being his child, meaning never complaining about his or her brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Equip us and keep us equipped day by day, moment by moment. Hour by hour. Yeah. So now, Lord, we know when the leaving comes, we ain't got to worry about because of how we live. We live to leave. And we thank you. Because you made us leave ready. Meaning what? If God says it's time to leave, baby, you haven't ready. So give God a hand praise. Give God a hand praise. And say, Lord, thank you for not coming that robber to make me in the, in the image of yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As I leave you, Lord, I leave you with this. Send out your guardian angels to watch over us in our appropriate dwelling places. Send out your traveling angels to watch over us along the dangerous highways and byways. And we'll say God's prayer for his children before we leave. My children, what y'all honor? Come on, church. My kingdom is your kingdom. I nourish you daily. I gave you life today. So you can add to the life of others. I have given you your trespasses, so you can forgive the trespasses of others. I have delivered you from temptation by leading you into purpose. So don't live to love, rather love to live. You are dismissed.